This building in Ukraine's west has been transformed into a detention center for Russian prisoners of war. These men were apprehended by Ukrainian troops in the throes of battle, and some have serious war wounds. In February, my convoy was ambushed. That's where I lost my leg. It's assumed there are currently several hundred men at the prison, but the official figures are unknown. Detainees are entitled to two hours of television a day, filled with Ukrainian news. I don't understand anything. The Russian authorities were telling us one thing, and here I hear the opposite. I tried to compare it, but nothing is clear. Ukrainian officials affirm that in line with the Geneva Convention, the detainees are treated with dignity and respect for human rights. And when the prisoners were asked about their conditions without security presence, they reaffirmed that they're well treated and even allowed to call their families on occasion. They all spoke of leaving, hopefully by a prisoner swap between Russia and Ukraine. I told my mother that I'm fine and healthy, but that I'm desperately waiting to be exchanged. I don't want her to worry too much. These two men in the infirmary are aged 20 and 21. And the former lost both of his legs from a landmine on the front line. He says that he was operated on and cared for by the Ukrainians. I don't have the morale, but I have to hold on. Every day I have to learn things all over again. I hope I'll get a prosthetic and life can begin again. The Red Cross has paid the prison a visit, but not published any findings or reports yet. Whilst there are other detention centres for Russian prisoners of war across Ukraine, their conditions are unknown.